What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 96 overall team of the season so far, Gomez. Now, Sean, yes, we are on someone else's account. His link to his Twitter will be in the description. Please hit him up and follow. Did pick him up for 1 million coins, which is quite expensive to be fair. I kind of predicted, predicted this guy around probably 800k, 700k. But looking at his stats, he might actually be worth 1 mil. 98 pace, 99 dribbling, 95 shooting, 97 passing, and 77 physical. Now, he is 5'5", five five, and I literally, I'm using a 5'4 Insigne already. I've used a 5, now I'm using a 5'5 five five Gomez. Can we get quite a few tall players? Like, what's happening here? High, medium work rates, the perfect attacking work rates. 4 star, 4 star is always going to be nice to see as well. He is on a hawk cam style. He is on 10 cam. 99 acceleration. 98 sprint speed. This guy is insanely fast. And he will be outpacing players like Virgil van Dijk. Maybe even Apara, Boateng, Hummels. All of those players. 99 attacking positioning. 99 finishing with the 99 shot power. Now the one thing that always disappoints me. Is a player that has those kind of shooting stats. And doesn't have like the outside foot shot trait. Or even the finesse shot trait. It's always a killer. But we're just going to have to get through it and see how good those finishing stats really are. 96 long shots, 97 volleys, and 97 penalties as well. He's got 99 vision, 97 crossing, 94 free kick accuracy, 97 short passing, 88 long passing, and 94 curve. It's clear of day this guy can play in the cam position and in the striker position because his passing ability is just stupid. 99 agility, 99 balance, 93 reactions, 97 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 96 composure. Dribbling stats look out of this world as well. It looks like he's going to be... Keep, he's going to keep the ball very calm and composed on the ball while at the same time keeping it very close to his feet now defensive stats aren't actually terrible but i definitely would not advise playing a five for five in the you know five for five player into the center mid role but he has got 76 defensive awareness which was quite a surprise now he's got 99 jumping him being five for five he will be out headwing i would say five for seven and below i wouldn't go any higher than that 98 stamina meaning he will last throughout the whole 90 minutes but look at this, a 5'5 five five player that has 88 aggression? Really? We just came off Insigne and he had around, I would say, 60, I think it was like 64, something around there. And the fact that a 5'5 five five player has 88 aggression, it just means he's going to be winning a lot of 50-50s and he's going to be really fighting for the ball. Now, he has got 69 strength as well, and that's clearly not enough. He will be getting body from like people like Boateng, Virgil van Dijk and stuff. But today, I have linked him up with 9 Golden, Martinez and Dybala. Yes, this guy has got a stacked team. I've also got a like so Witzel, Kim, uh, Kimmich, Davis and Boateng in this team. I will be using Gomez in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in a cam roll. But I also want to try him up front, so I will play him in a 4-4-2 as well. But let's get into the games. So we are just going to test out how he feels on the ball real quick. And he feels really agile, to be fair. I can see he's taking all these precise touches. The guy has dropped back and he's put his whole team behind the ball. Look at this. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get an early goal. That's, how, that's what we do. That's what we do. If you're going to drop back every single player, literally off kickoff, you saw every player go inside of his box. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get punished, especially with Gomez doing a little hill-to-hill -hill flick with that early shot because I knew, I knew he was going to bring out the keeper. And what a finish it was. The one two maybe he has got enough pace to get round this player yes he does ball roll around the keeper oh that should have been a bit more simple maybe i should have ball rolled a bit earlier and obviously the keeper would have dived anyway and i would have got pretty much a wide open goal that is my fault martinez so gomez gomez once again taking an insane touch like i'm honestly loving his touch oh okay as soon as i say that i then uh, activate chain skill moves and then that's what happens Oh, I'm loving this right now. Oh my god, I'm loving this. This Martinez slash Gomez partnership up top right now is absolutely disgusting. The way they're doing the little one twos, the way they're taking the touches is so precise but so good at the same time. The one two. Bring it back onto the left. Can I get a shot? That wasn't the greatest shot. That is something I can admit. The four star weak for they're really showing why it's not a five star pretty much. And I would say the accuracy was there, it was just the power. Come on, Gomez. I'm expecting him. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected. No, that is so, so bad. Can he fight for it? Oh, come on. I was expecting him to go through the tight angle, like the tight little gap, because he is five foot five at the end of the day. But it was one of those situations where he did get clipped, and it was always going to be disappointing. Nice. 
Nice. Can I? Oh, come on. I understand he was under pressure, to be fair to him. And obviously, he hasn't got the greatest strength. So when he gets put under pressure, he is going to start doing a falling over animations. But the dribbling was amazing. It's just he couldn't really angle himself to get the shot off. Can I get a little fake shot around the corner? Okay. I am going to ball roll. I am going to get the angle. And I am going to get the finish. It's simple as that. That fake shot around the corner was absolutely insane. The way he did it and put his body in the way of the player. Not allowing the player to get in front of him. Was beautiful. But even the ball roll. Taking it very calm and composed. I could have shot it near post. But I said why not. Let's, put, let's go past one more player and get the finish. So we have got a free kick here now. And there's only one thing we can do. Let's all be fair. Let's try a shot. Hopefully he doesn't move the keeper. I see he's moving the wall. But the wall hasn't automatically moved the keeper. Okay, so he looks like he is going to put a play on the, a play on the line. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually flick this like this. I'm going to flick it like this. Try to flick it over his head. Flick it one more to get it onto his stronger foot. And it blasts all the way into row Z. Okay, all that work just so, so he can go out the window. Nice, that is beautiful positioning from Gomez. Oh, come on, what a turn and what a finish. Do you realize how good this positioning really is? The fact that Gomez stayed on side but realized where he needed to be to give me that passing option was literally spot on. And all I had to do was pretty much turn the last player, which is exactly what I did. And it's another great finish to be fair to him. Nice, great acceleration. I am going to do the fake shot. I'm going to cut back into the inside. I'm going to go for the cross goal finish. And once again, it goes into the back of the net. Wow. Just, just look at this acceleration. Honestly, the only words you can describe the acceleration off the touch is literally wow. There's no other words to describe it. How fast this guy is, no one can catch him. And over top through ball all the way from one side of the pitch completely to the other. Showing that his passing ability is top tier. No over top through ball. The reason I did do an over top through ball there is simply I knew if I did it, the keeper would not get locked on. I wouldn't say it's a glitch, but I feel like it's more of an exploit than anything because time to time I do do an over the top through ball pretty much inside the box. The keeper doesn't get locked on and it just allows me to pretty much have a wide open shot. And Gomez finishing it with his head this time. I thought he was going to volley this. I was even holding L. I think it's L2 on the PS4. Oh, come on. No, let me get there. I'm just messing about a little bit now. I'm pretty much having fun with him because I am so comfortable with him now. It's ridiculous. I love the way he dribbles. I absolutely love his, shoot like his shooting ability, his passing ability. Everything is beautiful. I'm volleying this straight across goal. Oh, come on. I honestly believe that was going to fly into the back end of it. I was expecting one of those ones to hit crossbar down. Can you use that pace piece, get that through ball off. Yes, he did. He is on side as well. It's a really good touch and a beautiful acceleration touch. Oh my God. And I ended up missing it. I should have power shot at that near post. I 100% should have. I went for the finesse because I've seen how good his finesse shots are recently. So I said, why not? Let's continue with the finesse shots. And the fact that he's hit post there, it's a bit disappointing. But once again, it is my fault because I should have done near post. Gomez, over the top. To Martinez, it's beautiful play, but we can't get the finish right now. We are currently 1-0 down. We've had multiple, multiple shots. And I must admit, most of the misses have been because of me choosing the wrong decision. But i tell you what, this is getting ridiculous now. Keep going. Keep going. It's simple as that. We are going to go for the near post shot. It is going to be on his weaker foot, and it is going to be a perfect finish into the top bins now. One thing I didn't expect was to him to absolutely rattle the net and absolutely hit it top bins. I thought we were just going to be one of those ones where it was like a low driven into the bottom corner. But somehow, he just went full pelt. He's had enough. He's like, screw this. We're losing 1-0. I need to step up. And Gomez does step up once again. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, please get the finish. I understand he was off balance. I understand it wasn't the greatest angle. But I tell you what, I did not expect him to do the RB turn that fast. I'm going to go for a finesse here because why not at the end of the day? It's a really good finesse and it did challenge the keeper. But I don't see this going in at any time. Oh my god, please, for the love of god, it's beautiful. It's simple as that. Gomez is clutch once again. The flick, I actually just clicked the right analog stick down simply because I saw him pushing towards me and I knew if I clicked the right analog stick down, all I had to do was pretty much do a flick after that and it was going to be a goal. Nice, great run. I'm going to run a fake shot. 
gonna take the finesse oh i should have probably probably did a skill move or even maybe passed that a bit earlier gomez hill to hill we are gonna hit the near post shot and it is gonna be another goal this guy is on fire he was we was losing sorry we was losing one nil and somehow it's three one all from gomez showing that he can speak clutch he can score a hat trick when he is needed so it is time to review him and let me say this card is really impressive. I did not expect this card to be this good. I thought it was going to be one of those cards where it probably, you know, if it plays like Insigne, plays like Giovinco, or even plays like a little bit like, like Dybala. But I tell you what, he impressed me a lot and the fact that he's got the pace, he's got the dribbling, he's got the shooting, his passing ability is outstanding as well. With a bit of physical, I must say... You don't get much cards better than this. Now, 5'5 five five wasn't an issue at all. The high medium work rates positioned himself and made made him like make him made runs at the perfect time. Obviously, with the 99 attacker positioning, it helped a little bit. The four star skill moves, though, I would say the hill to hill was my favorite skill move simply because once doing it, he had an acceleration boost straight after it and just allowed him to get past any player. The four star weak foot, I would say, felt like a four star. It definitely didn't feel like a five star because the there was some opportunities getting missed. Now, pace-wise, he is one of the fastest players I have seen in this game. Those fake shots around the corners with him are so effective. Shooting-wise, if obviously you shoot, you know, if you shoot perfectly, if you want to say it like, you know when to hit it near post, you know when to finesse, then this guy's a goal-scoring machine. But today, I must say, today I wasn't, you know, I wasn't the greatest. Let's just say that For my finesses should have gone near post. My sh my near post should have gone should have gone to the finesse. And that is something that's, you know, just me not being warmed up and me just have to, having to pretty much uh, adapt to this gameplay real quick. Now, the passing ability was absolutely insane, as I did say. The over top three balls, a little one, two, the given goes were spot on. Dribbling wise, one of the best dribblers I have played with this year. He is so good on a ball, it was ridiculous. He feels a lot like Giovinco's team of the season card. Stamina wise, he did last throughout the whole 90 minutes. Strength was impressive. He did not get bodied off the ball, but one thing I can say, if you like, if there's a player putting like a hand on your shot on the shoulder, he does get pressured and his shot is not the greatest. He starts, you know, falling over while taking the shot. So be careful with that. Aggression though, he was fighting for the ball, he was fighting for the badge, and I absolutely loved pressing with this guy. He was from point A to point B in literally a split second. Now before we get, before we obviously give him a rating out of 10, I'm, you know, I'm doing this thing where I tend to give give you pretty much similar players. And the one thing I can say, he he like feels like Insigne, but a better Insigne, a better team of the season Insigne. But the real question you guys are probably asking, Dybala or Gomez? And I must say, I must say, Gomez is the, be the better player to go for. He is. Trust me on that. He's faster. He's better at dribbling. His shot is absolutely disgusting. He's just a better all-rounded player than Dybala. I understand Dybala's got a bit of strength, but I tell you what, the 88 aggression makes Gomez. Now, if I'm giving, giving him a rating out of 10, it is a 10 out of 10, and it is a very high 10 out of 10. It's not one of those ones where it's a low or mid. No, this guy's the high 10 out of 10, and this guy is the real deal. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.